I'm Steve Cornwell, Broome County District Attorney. And I'm Jordan Patch from Animal Adventure Park. And we are Men, Men Who Cook. Cook. Today, we're at the Regional Farmers Market in Broome County. And we are joining forces to share our talents in the kitchen to support the Mental Health Association of the Southern Tier for their annual Men Who Cook competition. This is a great cause for amateur cooks to show up and show their stuff. Are you ready to get started? Let's crank up the heat. Let's do it. We're ready to start the Men Who Cook competition. This year I was inspired by some alligators, so I want to do a Cajun dish. I heard about some alligators in Whitney Point here in Broome County. You know anything about that? In fact, Steve, I do. Whitney and Lyle, two alligators, were pulled out of the Tapnioga River and made their permanent home at Animal Adventure Park. How did they end up there? Nobody knows. Well, I saw that on TV. I thought it was pretty cool that we had some alligators, so I started thinking Cajun. So today, we're gonna turn up the heat and have Cajun Cornwell chowder. Are you ready? Let's get raging Cajun. We have our tools ready, we have our meat ready. We're gonna get started. The first thing we're gonna do to start out, we're gonna throw a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil into a stock pot. I like cooking this right in the stock pot. And we're gonna start out with that uh, vegetable oil, to get things warmed up. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move into the bacon. And we're gonna start with bacon and we're not, uh, well, we love bacon. We're not trying to hide the bacon, so. I like to bring home the bacon. You gotta bring home the bacon. See, that's important. You gotta bring home the bacon. All right, so cut that in half. It makes it a little bit easier to put in the, put in the pan. And then just go ahead and throw that right in the pan, and it will break apart as it cooks. So just put it in there and forget about it for a minute. Now, while the bacon's cooking up, you can work on your vegetables. This is the trinity. You got your celery, onions, and your red pepper. So we're gonna cut these up and be ready to put them into the bacon grease. Now, a lot of people have problems working on cutting all the vegetables. We're just gonna cut the top, cut the bottom. And what you wanna do is cut right down through here, and you can roll that right out and take out the seeds. These are already pre-washed. So you put this aside, and you wanna cut on this side with the skin down. So you're gonna just slice those down like this, and then you come back and dice them right up. All right, the next thing is the onion. People ask, how do you dice up the onions? I'm gonna show you real quick how I do it. I just uh, cut one edge off like that. I turn it over so it's nice and solid. You wanna make it so you don't uh, hurt yourself or cut yourself whenever you can. So you're gonna do that, then just use gravity to cut it in half. Put one aside. You can get it started to peel it with the heel of your knife, and you're just gonna peel the skin off in one layer of the onion, because it's a little bit tough. So I like to peel one layer off. All right, so we're gonna put this down, and you're gonna wanna cut through this way, all right? And I just wiggle it like that, it's a little bit safer, so you're not, you don't cut your fingers. Go ahead and wiggle it like that. Now you're gonna turn it this way, and you're gonna cut down through. But you're gonna hold it, so it doesn't fall apart. Just keep squeezing it together, and then you're gonna turn it one last time, and you're just gonna go ahead and cut right down through. And you can see how quickly you could get through an onion. It's pretty good for us today because we've got about 40 onions to go through. Uh, so, so you're gonna do that next. We're gonna be crying one way or another. I'm already tearing up. All right. Steve. All right, now we're gonna add our celery. What I like to do, I just take those ends right out of there get them right out of the way. Because we're making a chowder, you're gonna to wanna to cut these up a little thinner. Always obviously keep your fingers back. You're gonna to wanna to cut these into two or three strips. All the way down. Now, the next thing we're doing is I have uh, andouille sausage. Andouille sausage, typically in a Cajun meal, uh, a little bit spicy, it's very good. So we're making this as a chowder. We don't want really big pieces of sausage. We're gonna cut it up a little bit. So basically you're just gonna to wanna, to, you're just gonna cut it in half this way. And then you're gonna turn it over and you're gonna cut it in half again. And then you're just gonna chop right to little pieces. So you're gonna do a pound of bacon and a pound of andouille sausage. You're gonna chop that right up into little pieces. When the bacon's done, we're gonna pull the bacon out of the pan and we're gonna put it aside to chop up later and add back in. Then we're gonna cook our andouille sausage right in the bacon fence. Bacon's getting crisp, I think it's ready. 
All right, so now you're gonna to wanna to remove the bacon from the pan. You're gonna chop it up and add it back in later. All right, so now the bacon's out, and we're gonna put the andouille sausage back into the pan, into the stock pot, and cook it right in bacon grease for a couple of minutes. Now, Steve, let me interrupt you. Can you explain what andouille sausage is versus like an Italian sausage? Sure, andouille sausage is a spicy sausage. It's used in a lot of Cajun foods when you're cooking, and once you try it, you're not gonna want anything else. Once you go andouille, you never go back. <laughs> so now that our bacon is cooked and crisp, but definitely cooled, we're gonna chop that up into smaller pieces while our sausage is cooking, so it can be added after that along with our vegetables. We're gonna add our veggies in and it's our celery, onions, and peppers, known as the Holy Trinity. So let's go ahead and add those right into the mix. All right, so now we're gonna to start to add a little bit more spice besides that sausage. So we're gonna make this, we're gonna add two cups of corn. We're gonna add some chicken stock. And these babies, jalapenos. Turn up the heat a little bit. All right, so now we, we mix that up. You're gonna put it in your blender. Hit start, here we go. So right now, Steve is making what we call a roux. Uh, Steve, would you like to explain kind of what that is and what its purpose is? Sure, we want to thicken up the chowder. We don't want it to be a weak, you know, very thin soup. So we want to mix butter and flour, usually equal parts. So if you do four tablespoons of butter, do four tablespoons of flour, uh, you can convert that to cups or whatever. So uh, you could go up to twice as many, twice as much flour as you can butter. So if you do a stick of butter, it'd be uh, like two cups of flour. All right. So, we gotta put in a pound of potatoes. Let's get cutting. All right, now Steve, how do you recommend cutting a potato for a chowder like this? Just like <laughs> Done. <laughs> I'd like to slice the potatoes very thin, make them in small, small steps. So we slice down one way, and then we cross over and we slice the other way. So really, they come out diced, almost like the onions did, because you want them very, very small. You want them to kind of just blend right into the soup. Almost done. Good. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. So we're at the final stages now. Now this is only the first one. We actually got to feed 500 people. So we got only, a lot. Only 500. Only now. 500. No pressure. No, we're all right. We'll Not be fine. Yet. Yep. Yeah. We gotta win. Mm -hmm. Best sous chef ever, and we're ready to roll here. So let's finish it up, right? So it's corn chowder, right? Cajun corn chowder. Well, we already added all the Cajun spices you can see in the beginning, and now we're gonna thicken it up and smooth it out a little bit. So right. we're gonna add more corn, we're gonna add more stock, and we're gonna add heavy whipping cream, and a couple of bay leaves just to finish it up. And obviously you'll take these out before serving. Actually, if you get this in your chowder, you get free admission to Animal Adventure Park. All right, so after all that hard work, we're done, but we did forget one thing. Unfortunately, we didn't bring any bowls or spoons, so we did a good job getting food together, I think. I think we did. We did a great job. I'd like to thank my sous chef, Jordan Patch from Animal, Animal Adventure for joining me tonight. And all we got were these coffee cups that we found, so we're gonna do a little taste test. You ready? I'm ready. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! That's good. That is good. Oh, look. I found a bailey.